Caddis Maximus here. This time with a quick review of these new pig, and they indeed are called pig. These are polypropylene oil mats. So these are special synthetic blankets, essentially, that are designed to absorb oil. These are the 15 by 20 inch, and this comp there's quite a few of these made. They're sold at auto parts stores, industrial supplies, even safety supplies. They're similar to various sweeping compounds except for it's a mat and what's kind of nice about the mats is these at least they advertise these are the extra thick or heavy duty ones as they can be separated obviously in the 10 inch by 15 inch sections but you might leave these like in your garage or you park your car if you have a type of oil spill one of the deal with these is they are not they are uh water phobic or hydrophobic they the polypropylene is actually designed to not uh, adhere to water at all, but the longer molecules, I believe it's the longer molecules associated with oils, they will absorb. And that's kind of the deal with these, is these are also in uh, oil spill mitigation, that type of thing, because oil will sit on top of the water, so you can actually throw these blankets down, they'll float, and they will start absorbing the oil. And you can lift them off and they won't be filled with water. And they seem to do okay with coolants and that type of stuff, but they're really quite nice. Because when you have them on or something, they soak up so well that you don't have to deal with a lot of times with sweeping compound. You can just replace these. So these are often put under machinery, hydraulics that uh, may drip oil, that type of thing. And they just you just swap them out. So they really are pretty nice. Actually, let me cut to uh, just a little section of a uh, DeWalt worm dry saw tear down where it had really thick oil just to show you the effect of this. These are special pig blankets, actually pig brand that are designed for soaking up exactly this. They're actual oil cleanup blankets and they're amazing. We can see just how much is in this. Just dumped it all off. Look at that. They really are pretty amazing at trapping material. As you can see, it, they really worked. That was a big mat, just chocked with oil. When you lifted it up, it was just barely starting to come through. So what I'm going to do is, here we go, test it out actually with some olive oil and water. We'll cut off a little section, and so you can get an idea with the cross section. There is no problem cutting these if you just need a little area for uh, some type of oil seepage on whatever piece of equipment or machinery. Maybe you're just adding oil to an air compressor and you just want a little piece just to catch any dribbles. So it's just a real fibrous form of a mat that's been rolled uh, and compressed and it just, it really isn't layers, it's just a, just a fine mesh. So we'll try this olive oil here. And I was going to mention about copper. Copper is one of the most natural, uh, as far as the elements, most active antibacterial and antiviral that exists. It's something to do with the copper ions and the various molecules that are associated with. There we go. Um, it breaks down the the it, it breaks down the ability of those the little spheres that they're in, viruses and bacteria, and allows them to oxidize. That's why I believe the mechanics are, but it's more than just well studied um it's just one of the properties surprisingly enough copper is one of the cleanest as far as bacteria surfaces in existence meaning that if like shopping cart handles food store dividers door handles water faucet fixtures the buttons on the keypads for credit card machines if they are all made out of copper a high copper content alloys within a few hours any bacteria that was on them would be no longer effective. Proven once again, they did do a study on the Diamond Princess cruise ship. Found some surfaces could have COVID for upwards of uh, several days, up to 17 days. When they looked at copper surfaces, the longest they could find it lasting for was about four hours. Yep, it's really that dramatic. So, big deal. And older houses that use copper piping for their water pipe even suppresses Legionnaire's disease. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here and then uh, give it a minute to start soaking up and seeing if it works on olive oil. And if it doesn't, then I'll, of course, break out some motor oil. But I can already see it starting to uh, absorb that olive oil here. Let me get a little bit of zoom so you can see that action. 
and you can see it's just wicking it up just like a candle wick wick cotton wick wicks up uh the wax and then that's actually why the wick doesn't burn in a candle is because it's burning the vapors of the the wax and the wick is just acting as a straw the same thing is happening with this polypropylene rag here and surprisingly enough we can see it's doing quite well quite well all the oils kind of congregating near it and give it a little bit more time i did put quite a bit of oil in that water and i need a place to put this and here's and now you're seeing how they really are oil cleanup rags we'll go ahead and pull this out we can see how much olive oil is in there and there's just a little bit left on the surface probably because i was overloading this section of rag and the couple of drops that ended up in the bottom something else that's interesting there is we can see that whatever component of olive oil gives it its color is more uh, phob or I don't know if the word is phobic, but it's more attracted to the polypropylene and there's obviously another oil component in olive oil that is transparent and so the polypropylene is probably taking longer to soak that up uh, one and two maybe you know lighter weight or something like that but I do find that interesting something I never knew until I tried this out I did just test with the corner of the rag, so it will work on this lighter stuff, but it just takes a bit more time. And so obviously if you um, really load up the rag, it's not going to have as good of effectiveness. And so you have to even use a couple of them. And of course, you know, floor sweeping compounds and everything would work pretty well too. Anyway, I just uh, had to show these in a video and some actually like the one person asked about them. Um, but just wanted to show this is a, these are a convenient way to deal with uh, oil spills in a variety of convenient uh, manners without having to deal with like loose sweeping compound and cat litters. Having them under things to catch the drips and if you have a big spill it's amazing uh, how you could just toss one over the top of the spill and be able to deal with the vast majority of it in the way that it really does stick to the polypropylene so you can uh, pick them up and it won't be just like a overloaded you know paper towel it won't be dripping as you go along and of course their advantage of actually being able to separate oil from water is a big deal if there's some type of accident and oil ends up in the water or stream you can put a bunch of these down and like this company new pig you know you can order more than just you know dark mats or these white mats they sell huge rolls 30 inch by 200 foot rolls and industrial size stuff too anyway I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.